Zetsu Myoken means unbeatable sword. And in the right situation, this is a really good technique. Um, this gets back to grappling distance, where we're not really grappling here. We're using a different portion of our sword. Um, if you may remember, our first kata in this series was called Oi Zetsu Myoken. This one's called Zetsu Myoken. And sometimes we refer it as Zetsu Myoken with the skate. The skate, or the suka, is the handle of the sword. And you'll notice that most swords have a metal ornament on the end of it. Well, that's also used for impact, too, where you can strike someone with it. And that's what this kata demonstrates. We like to teach these two kata in pairs. The one you just saw, um, skikage, which is great for when, um, and I'll be shit out just for a second. So you'll notice the first kata we did, I received it, and then we came in. You notice how low that these hands are, so I couldn't really get under there if I wanted to. So we just push back. This particular kata, if Valerie should dodge this time, she's in get in or come on, and I come in and cut. Well, what happens is before we have a chance to bring our hands down, she doesn't give me a chance to do that. She's going to step right in and then use this part of the sword to do the strike or demonstrate the kata. So that's why we like to teach these two kata in pairs. Also, it starts out in get in or come on, just like the one previous. So Shidats will be in get in or come on. Let's come a little closer. And I'll start here in Hasso. And I come in and try and strike Uchidacha's um, left side of her head. She receives it, just like we did in the other kata. And she steps right in. And you see she's overpowering the center here. I'm literally, all my weight's on my left heel here. And she strikes right into the face. And then she keeps a lot of pressure on me here. And then we go back to a neutral position. So we'll do a regular speed here to demonstrate. Yeah! couple of tips. If you're finding that your partner is really big and overpowering, you'll notice that Valerie did a little bit of a stomp. At the same time, she was pushing up with her arms. So what that is an aid of is she's using the ground to help push up my hands and come in and get them out of the way. And also, if you don't want to be very nice to your partner, you can also strike your opponent's forearms with the space in between the hands. Now to really get the, um, if you hit the bone side of the arm, it does a really good job of, uh, of, of lightening things up on my end. Um, so we'll, we'll demonstrate that again. And I'm going to try and give Valerie a little bit of pressure here so she doesn't, so I'll make it easy for her. Yeah. I can feel that all the way coming from her leg. It's a very powerful technique because when that person comes in, they're taking that center right over. And see how she slid her foot in? Do it again. She slides her foot right in and just takes over center before I have a chance to compensate. Because if I compensate, then I can try and get out of that way and get over a better distance for me. But when Shidach does this correctly, she, she slides right in as she brings her hands in two and just takes right over. So that's how it's supposed to be done. We'll demonstrate at regular speed. Is that some So we'll demonstrate on the other side so you can see what's going on on the other side of, of, the, of the practitioners. So we'll go slow. I come in, I cut, she receives it. And then you can see the skaga share goes right to the bridge of the, uh, the nose or right at the um, upper lip to shatter the teeth. In the old days, when they had a mempo underneath the helmet or the kabuto, this would just shatter that. And then you see she puts pressure down, doesn't really give much back until I'm way back here. Okay, we'll do regular speed. Is that some milk in? Yeah. Good. Is that some milk in?